The sacred scripture of Islam is the Quran, and it's attributed to Allah's prophet, Muhammad, and is said to be the final revelation of God. Surprisingly, the Quran attributes no miracles to Muhammad, with one possible exception, the Quran itself. In Surah 29, 50-52, Muhammad admits he has performed no miracle by calling himself a plain warner. Non-Muslims, and even some Muslims, see this as a clear statement in the Quran that Muhammad did no miracles. But many Muslims believe that this passage claims the Quran itself is his miracle. If the first interpretation is correct and Muhammad did no miracles, then he cannot be a prophet since there is no divine authentication. Surah 17, 90-93 is used to support this view. In this passage, Muhammad is challenged to do a miracle to authenticate his claim of being Allah's prophet, to which he responds, Glory be to my Lord, am I any more than a human messenger? However, if the second interpretation is correct, then we see a circular argument. The reason given for believing that Muhammad is a prophet is that it's stated in the Quran, the final revelation of God. But the reason given to believe in the Quran is the word of God is that Allah's prophet Muhammad says it's the word of God, and around it goes. Unlike Moses, Muhammad did not receive this revelation in full view of a nation. Rather, he received it in secret, making it suspect. If the Quran is Muhammad's miracle, then the God it describes is not the God of the Bible, as Islam claims. Unlike the God of the Quran, the God of the Bible, without exception, made a distinction between his message, his messenger, and the miracle that would authenticate the messenger. But this challenge is taken up by the Hadith, writings that record the sayings and works of Muhammad. Some of the books in the Hadith are considered more accurate and valuable than others. The two most highly revered in early books are the Sahih Bukhari Hadith and the Sahih Muslim Hadith, and date in the 9th century, 200 years or so after Muhammad's death. The Hadith claims Muhammad did do miracles. For example, according to the Sahih Bukhari 5208, the Meccan people asked Allah's apostle to show them a miracle. So he showed them the moon split in two halves, between which they saw the Hiram mountain. If we overlook the problem of the Hadith and the Quran contradicting each other, we see miracles in the Hadith whose source is not attributed to God, whose purpose is not apparent, and whose character is not benevolent. Whether the Hadith is considered or not, the miracles of Islam are clearly not the same kinds of things as are found in the Bible. Thus, we find that miracles are neither unscientific nor exempt from historical investigation. We also see that the miracles of the Bible are quite different from the miracles of other religions. Biblical miracles uniquely point to a transcendent personal God as their source, they're purposeful and intentional, and they're benevolent in character. Therefore, although other religions claim miracles in their traditions, they're speaking of different kinds of events that cannot cancel out the authenticating power of the miracles found in the Bible.